Welcome to Alpha Cars and Ural of New England. Today we have lots of Urals in our service department. This one I'm showing you on the right, that's actually from Maine. We have lots of customers throughout New England uh, who bring their bikes to us for the routine maintenance. And I'm sure this yellow one has already caught your eye with what this sort of cage is that's been built on the sidecar. Well, this video, I just wanted to show you uh, this customer's bike. This is a 2014 gear up. I was here just for some uh, minor upgrades and routine maintenance. And they have this amazingly built, a sort of dog cage on the sidecar here. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, we don't sell this product. We, we didn't design it, at least uh, not yet. <laughs> um, but this thing is, is done very professionally and it's just kind of the most legit one we've ever seen. We're just super impressed. And I just kind of want to walk through uh, sort of the design and how, how it was done. So the gauge of everything is very heavy duty. Uh, you barely put any pressure on it. There's no flex anywhere on it. It really shakes the whole machine. It has some very nice anchor points. It uses a lot of the factory uh, mounting locations for the tonneau cover. But some of these uh, twist fas fasteners have been replaced with some nut certs or riv nuts, depending on uh, what you like to call those. So it actually bolts right on to the sidecar uh, body there. We have these uh, supports here. Uh, these, aren't, these are not welded to the sidecar or anything. They just uh, kind of rest on the edge right here, but they have a nice, looks like carpet material. So then they won't rattle and won't damage the finish of the Ural. And then the same thing uh, back here. You can see there's a couple bolts there uh, where the uh, twist fasteners have been replaced. And that just makes this thing super sturdy. We can see it's been designed. So there's plenty of clearance with the handlebar in the mirror. And now looking at it from over here, I can see there's even a crossbar right here uh, where this sort of space was made. And it all just follows the contours of everything just so nicely. It's done so well. And we were just super impressed uh, when we had this bike come in for service. And then there is this little door here. So the fasteners for the tonneau cover, uh, you can actually turn these. These still work as, I guess, a fail safe if this uh, twist fastener uh, came loose. But if I unscrew this, then the door just swings open. And we can see this is a, a riv nut or a nut cert. Like I said, there's a couple different names for them. Um, but it, it just it presses uh, into a you know, sheet of metal. And then it has uh, the threads there to accept a bolt. And we can see uh, this kind of uh, bolt here with the it's actually custom made. It looks like it was kind of custom bent and welded to be able to use your hand. And then it has, it looks like they kind of used a washer and then a nut with some spot welds on the other side. So it all stays as one piece. So then you can just open and close this. You have plenty of room to get your, your uh, friend in and out of the sidecar. And even look at this bend here, how that perfectly clears the sidecar handle. It's really just, it looks like everything was really thought of and and this thing was executed very nicely. This threads, uh, you know, very, very smoothly. Of course, we're just being gentle with it, uh, showing you here. And the paint job they did, this black paint job, looks to be holding up awesome. We can tell, you know, this has had a little bit of use, it seems like, but we can see it's stainless steel hardware. And the uh, paint job seems to be very thick and holding up very well. And even the welds are all really, really nice. So, uh, you know, whoever did <laughs> design and, and, and build this, it is, very impressive and we thought, you know, it would just be cool, uh, cool to share because we, like I said, we've never seen anything uh, to this extent on the sidecar body there. So I want to thank you for watching uh, this short video. Like I said, I've been reporting from our service center. If you do have a Ural, even if you're not local to us, uh, we have lots of customers trailer their bikes here or even ship them uh, for us to work on them and do upgrades and many other things. So definitely uh, give us a call at 978 Two six three nine thousand, or send us an email at service at alphacars.com. But this has been Ian reporting from our Boxborough location. Please leave a like and subscribe so then you don't miss out on this exciting Ural content.